Hey guys, it's Dingani, and I was doing what I do best, being unproductive scrolling YouTube until I was stopped in my tracks by this video right here from the official Nintendo YouTube channel called Serena Williams plays some of her favorite Nintendo Switch games. And I literally would have not cared about this at all, but I saw the like to dislike ratio of 58% and I was like, God dang. Why does this video have so many dislikes? Uh, do gamers really hate Serena Williams that much? Also, if you don't know who Serena Williams is, she's basically a famous tennis player. That's basically all I know about her. But I, of course, have to click on the video to read the comments to see what's going on. Like, I can't help but be interested in the tea. Oh, also, I watched the video too. It's nothing exciting. It's literally a 30 second advertisement for playing Switch games. Whoa, Serena Williams playing Mario Tennis? Get it? Because she's a tennis player? Whoa, whoa! Anyway, I'm like, okay, what's the big deal? The first couple comments were no big deal, mostly meme comments. I like this one that says, she's got a child that has a lot to live up to now that Serena is a gamer. The pressure that this kid has now, not because she's a world famous tennis player, but because she's a gamer. But I was here obviously for the salty comments because with a like to dislike ratio like that, there's no way there's not salty comments. And it didn't take long for Cyber Assassin to comment, I bet you she never had a switch in her hands before this advertisement. And it doesn't stop there. We got Shavesh I have no idea how to pronounce his name. Um, he whipped out his keyboard to comment, I'd rather play the Virtual Boy than letting Serena Williams advertise games to me. And, okay, you get the gist of it. Now, I got a couple of things to say to people who comment stuff like this. And granted, who knows, they could be 12 years old and I'm making a video about these comments and justifying it as a strike of inspiration. I feel like people, first off, care way too much about stupid, unimportant stuff like this. I would get it if, like, Serena Williams was, like, a murderer and somehow landed an advertising deal with Nintendo. But she's not, she's just a normal person, a famous tennis player. Or I guess that's not normal, but she's popular, okay? Like obviously it, it makes sense that she's in an advertisement for a massive video game company. Caring about stuff like this just seems like a waste of energy. What these people are doing is basically angrily gatekeeping their special gaming company and are mad because Serena Williams doesn't fit their perception of what a gamer should be. Like, wouldn't it make more sense to be happy that Serena Williams is expanding Nintendo's reach as a gaming company to make more people gamers? Huh? Uh, a not gamer advertising a game on my favorite game console? Oh, uh, no, 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 not on my watch. And, and to make it worse, she's a woman? I'm about to get toxic. Where's my keyboard? Alexa, call the Discord Reddit chat. I feel like the solution to this stuff could just be, I don't know, Maybe not caring enough, but I'm curious to hear what a certified gamer has to say on this topic. You see, I'm what they call a fake gamer. I make videos about video games and buy video games, but play them? Ugh. You disgust me. Thankfully, my boy Adi is a certified gamer. He even has a diploma to prove it. Hey Adi, I got a question for you. You you play video games. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not like, you're not telling people, are you? You, you have a YouTube channel about video games. And anyway, I do you think it's healthy for gamers to be obsessed with these huge, massive gaming companies? Like, is it justifiable to defend every single action that a gaming company does? Um, no, I definitely think that can be its own kind of issue. Yeah, I just feel like it could lead to a certain type of toxic gamer culture or something. Yeah, that's true. I mean, look at it this way. The only way I'm going to defend a company's every move is if I'm the owner of the company. Because, I mean, what are human rights when it comes to profits? Okay, well, that makes sense. I just want to get an opinion from the perspective of a certified gamer. You've played at least, like, three games, right? Uh, probably. I mean, I've lost count on the matter of fact that I don't even know how to count. I kind of skipped first grade. Yeah, I was too busy gaming. Hey, and this is why I go to you for the expert opinions. Yeah, and I also charge a consultation fee now. So far, you owe me $1,500. Wait, I, th I thought you just said you don't know the concept of numbers. Hey, I'm a businessman, not a mathematician. Huh. Well, I'm in debt. Back to the Serena Williams video. There's plenty of priceless comments like, Why TF do they want us to see Serena Williams playing Nintendo so bad? This is the fourth upload of this. From user Epic Antos. Nice profile picture, by the way, Antos. Very cool. I can see you pass as a gamer. And I'm thinking to myself, like, this is the official company YouTube channel where they post their commercials and ads and promotional material. It's not a channel made for hardcore dedicated Nintendo fans exclusively. It's not a curated channel specifically for you. And this makes me further realize how attached people are to corporate 
corporate gaming companies like this. And of course, I still am to an extent, I grew up loving Nintendo games, but at some point you gotta realize that these are companies, and companies care about money. If you attach yourself too aggressively to a company, please just don't be surprised if you're one day making a Twitter rant about how they betrayed you and the core fans. And that actually brings me to my next point. I'm not saying don't hold companies accountable either. As a matter of fact, I'm saying literally the opposite. For example, with what Nintendo did recently with the Smash Bros. Melee community and how much Nintendo has been screwing them over, that's pretty crappy of Nintendo to do. I think people are realizing, wow, Nintendo kind of sucks in this sense. And that makes the hardcore defend the mass corporation company at all cost fans a problem. Don't defend a company just because you grew up playing their games. It's good to be critical of these companies and not suck up to them over everything and anything they do. Look, if you're gonna get attached to something, have it be something that doesn't have so many factors that control it. It makes a lot more sense to be attached to a game or a movie because you can define and justify those values a lot better, because it's the art or the message you like. It's literally impossible to defend every single action a company with hundreds of thousands of people working and making decisions for it, unless you force yourself to like these hardcore fans. Look, you can like certain things about a company or their games or whatnot, just how you would like certain things about a person. But of course, two people aren't going to agree on everything ever, no matter what. The bigger and more complicated companies become, or a group gets, the less attached that you should be to it. But us humans with our monkey brains only want to associate our nostalgia for a game by that company as the entire company, and it makes us blind to anything else. And that's pretty dumb. If it's an indie game studio with like three people making games, it makes sense you could be attached to that a lot more, but even on a scale that small, you may not agree with every decision the studio does. You can still like them, and it's okay to be critical as well, just don't be dumb about it. Basically, becoming too attached to massive video game companies creates two types of problems. One, it makes these fans become toxic gatekeepers. And two, it makes them blind to the actual problems that these companies may cause. So hey, we probably shouldn't defend massive gaming companies. Not gonna lie, I don't know how much sense I'm making. I feel like I'm making sense, but I want to see what you guys think. For me personally, I like being attached to something much simpler, uh, like this Toothlink plushie. Me and him agree on just about everything. I feel like we're spiritually connected somehow.